hope you are all doing well. I am Azama Puno and I talk about fragrances in this channel. I have previously posted a video on men's fragrance capsule wardrobe and this is going to be a very similar one but for ladies. If you want to build a fragrance capsule wardrobe that you are going to make the most of without feeling bored of wearing the same old one or not finding something to wear on a very special occasion, this post is for you. Before I move on to the post, please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell beside it while I do the intro. The first category is fresh fragrances. For everyday wear, you do not want to think too much to pick a fragrance, but at the same time, you do not want to be bored with just one. So keep two to three fragrances in this category. These are likely to be inoffensive and mass appealing because during social hours, you are probably going to be at work or in a public place where you do not want to give someone a headache. At the same time, you need to like them well enough to wear them regularly. You can pick from a wide variety of fragrances. This can be fresh floral, fruity fresh, aquatic fresh, uh, fresh green or just citrus fresh. I have picked three for this video. The first one is Crystal Ovard by Chanel. This is a very citrusy, cologne-like fresh fragrance. And I think this works really well during the day. This is a beautiful fragrance in my opinion, very much like a white shark. The next one is also very safe and mass appealing. This is Oud Sage and Sea Salt by Jo Malone. This is a woody aromatic fragrance. And I also love the fact that this comes in 30 ml bottles, which means you can carry them around if they do not last long enough. The last one is by Hermes, and this is one of my most favorite fragrances. This is Un Jardin April Amuson. It's fresh. It also has spices like cardamom, ginger, and pepper. I have a thing for spicy fragrances. It lasts very long on me as well and I love it. It is a beautiful fragrance. This is supposed to encapsulate the feeling of after rain in Southeast Asia, in uh, India in particular. And I'm not sure how much it does but I'm definitely sure this is one of my most loved fragrances. The next category is dress up. I am going to start with sweet ones and then gradually cut down on sweetness. The first one which gives me a sugar rush is Noir Pour Femme by Tom Ford. This has what they called the Accord of Kulfi which is an Indian ice cream. Whether you find kulfi in it or just boiled milk or just amber, this is a very sweet fragrance. You are going to love it if you love gourmands. If you don't, you are probably going to hate it. The next one is more of a different sort of sweet fragrance. This has coffee, this has vanilla and caramel. This is a very pretty girly fragrance, a very contemporary one. And I have reviewed this earlier and I'm going to leave the link there and in the description for you to check. The next one is a very grown up fragrance. This is a retro classic sort of fragrance. This is Chanel's Coco. This has also some sweetness from amber at the base. This is quite spicy and this is a uh, in my opinion a very powerful fragrance. The last one is a floral fragrance and this is Carnal Flower by Frederick Mott. This focuses on different facets of tuberose and if you love this flower you need to check this out because it is a work of art. I would say pick two from this category, one gourmand and the other one more of a dress of sophisticated artistic fragrance. So one from these two, whichever you prefer, and one from these two. Although you can have all four because they all are very different from each other. The last category is personal. Since fragrances are closely linked to our memories and our emotions, it wouldn't make sense to have a fragrance capsule wardrobe that ticks all the right boxes but doesn't have anything that means special to you. For me, I have Hugo Boss Soul which is a men's fragrance that my husband used to wear 12 years back. This brings back memories of those early days. I bought this one because I have fond memories with it, not because of its own merit. And I encourage you to find something that means special to you and not necessarily to the rest of the world. If you haven't found anything special yet, think of your fond memories. If you cannot think of any, there's still time to make new memories and get to know yourself better to find what you love. If you have watched this far, please don't forget to press the like button and 
comment below to share your opinions your recommendations and thoughts and don't forget to subscribe see you soon